It's critical as tennis coaches that we do no harm when it comes to giving suggestions here on YouTube. So I'm gonna tell you to always swing low to high on your forehand. Let me show you what I mean. Now, in a moment here, I'm gonna show you video footage of pros swinging low to high, including Roger Federer, who many believe swings very level, very tabletop, flinging the arm across the body, but it's simply not the case, and the video footage will prove that. But before we look at the footage, how will we know if someone's swinging low to high? How do we quantify it? Well, we don't do it with the racket. The racket can be a little misleading. All we have to pay attention to is the hand. What I'm gonna do in about 30 seconds is show you several pros and I'm gonna go through the footage and I'm gonna stop the footage when the hand is at its lowest point prior to hitting the ball. Then we're gonna look at the hand at its highest point after hitting the ball. The disparity between those two heights will prove a low to high swing path. Now, how steeply or how gradually you use the low to high swing determines if you're hitting a lot of spin or a little less spin, but nonetheless, you are going on a topspin forehand from low to high, and this video footage proves it. Now these videos of Fetter are courtesy of Ian over at Essential Tennis, so thank you so much, Ian, for letting me use your awesome content. So here's a typical forehand off of a medium height ball. So here is when his hand is at its lowest point, so we'll put a little mark right there, and then we go to when his hand is at its highest, which is right there. So his hand is going from behind his right pocket, level to his right pocket, to as high as his headband, which is right there. So obviously, if his hand is going from his pocket to the top of his head, he is hitting, in the middle of those two, by the way, so which is halfway between the two, he's going low to high during the contact. So let's go to the next one. This is a high ball. And this is one where people go, oh, he's really swinging flat through it. But look where his hand is. This is the lowest point. So his hand drops to uh, maybe just below belly button height, or yeah, I would say belly button height. And then when he's done hitting, or after he hits, his hand gets as high as his mouth. So obviously his hand is going up through the contact. Now it's a little misleading, this one in particular, because he jumps. So the distance and the amount that his hand goes up, in full disclosure, is not this distance. Because remember, it got to his mouth. So let me draw a new line at his mouth right now. But even on this high ball, his hand is traveling up this much. Let's go to the next one. Here's a low ball. And these are the easy ones, right? Look how low his hand is. And look where it finishes. So his hand is going from mid-thigh height to his shoulder. So obviously that is a low to high swing. Now this is a great view of the type of forehand that really can be misinterpreted as tabletop and flinging the arm across the body. But again, you just have to look at the hand. But if you look at it fast, doesn't it look like he's just like rolling over the ball and just going flat into it. But upon further inspection, look where his hand is. And then look where his hand is. I mean, that's low to high. Now, is it high up here? No, you don't need your arm up here with your hand finishing way above the head for it to be a low to high swing. In fact, you can have your arm level to the shoulder as long as the beginning was lower, the hand goes up to that point. And it's very obvious to see. There's a great one, by the way. Nice and close. Look where his hand is. With his hand in that circle, it's very easy to see where the hand ends up. Look how the hand traveled. Watch how the hand travels along that line. This is a ball that seems to be where they're rolling over the ball and swinging very level you're not going to see a pro swing level. All forehands are low to high. If it's really steep, you get a lot of spin. If it's more gradual, you get less spin and more power where it's driven. But every forehand you see the pros hit is low to high. 
Now, this video of Yannick Sinner is courtesy of Court Level Tennis. So thank you, Liam Appalato, for letting me use your awesome content. So just a typical forehand that they would hit in a match all the time. Look where his hand is. Draw a line. In fact, I'm going to make it very level. There we go. Now, let me draw that a little more level with the actual court. There we go. And then that's as high as his hand right now. Look at the difference. Low to high. When you put lines there, all of a sudden it's like, oh, wow. His hand is really going up as he's striking the ball. Very obvious. And last, this video of JJ Wolf is courtesy of 12KGP Tennis on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribing to these awesome channels. So let's look at this forehand he just hit. This is right after a serve and the ball, you know, is hit nice and deep and he's kind of moving back on, off this ball. So here is the lowest part of his hand or the low, when his hand is at the, its lowest during the motion and then his hand goes up here. When you see the lines, it's very obvious. In fact, I didn't draw that line very well on the bottom. He went even lower than I just drew. So I want to make it 100% correct what I'm teaching you here. And there you go. Man, look at the difference. Low to high. And you can see the hand at contact is here. So obviously his hand is going up at that point and it keeps going up. That's why the low to high swing is so critical and it's so important to the pros that they hit this way. So here's the lowest point of the swing when it comes to his hand. And now his hand is up there. In fact, it went a little higher than that, but you can see low to high. This is obviously low to high. And then this is the one where he really drives it. This is one you, where you'd say, oh, this is level because he goes inside out and he just blasts it. I'm sorry, he goes inside in, blasts it up the line and the rally is over. Well, let's look at his driving Swing path. Man, oh man. That is low to high. Now, if you're looking for new people in your local area to play matches against or practice with, or maybe you want to find a coach who's close to you who can help you with your game, then use my link for Play Your Court. And it's playyourcourt.com slash two minute tennis. When you use my link to sign up, you get 50% off. I'm no brain surgeon, but I have eyes. And I can see that the pros swing from low to high, no matter the height of the contact, no matter how much they're trying to spin the ball or drive the ball. The steepness of the swing varies, but the low to high does not. Always swing low to high on your topspin forehand, and there's no doubt. You're going to gain confidence, win more matches, and play much better tennis. This is Ryan Reedy from 2MinuteTennis.net. You got this.